Hey guys, today I'm doing a much requested video. Um, in my June lookbook video, I had this kind of textured bun, and a lot of you guys really liked it and requested a tutorial on it. And I thought it was something that like was pretty simple, just because my hair is very textured anyway, and it kind of goes like this very easily without very many products. So um, I hadn't even thought of doing a tutorial on it, but a lot of you asked for it, and um, yeah, so here it is. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's very, very easy. Um, I'm not a professional hairstylist or anything, so it's the techniques used are not professional or anything like that. It's just what I've learned, what works for me, what hopefully will work for you as well. And um, this is what it looks like. It's just very like messy, um, loose kind of bun, but it will still stay in place all day. And I can definitely, um, I can definitely say that is true because <laughs> I wear these a lot. So, um, if you want to know how to do this hair, then just keep watching. So you want to start off with old, dirty hair. Um, again, I know I said it in my last hair tutorial, but I'm going to say it again. Don't style, don't try and style your hair like this for this particular bun, um, unless you want to do a sleek bun or something like that. Um, if you want to do a messy hairstyle or like a textured hairstyle, my advice would be to not do it on freshly washed hair. It's too soft, it's not going to be able to hold the style well enough and um, this is just a very textured kind of messy style so you want your hair to actually look quite messy with minimal like effort and products and all that kind of stuff. Um, my hair, the reason why I can wash it so infrequently, um, like I said before, I wash it every three days so on the fourth like morning I wash it and today's day three and it still looks clean and um, like it doesn't look like a greasy mop or anything or at least I don't think so is because my hair is dry and um, it's actually very thick so I think it can kind of like hold the oil or something, I don't really know. Anyways, but if your hair isn't like mine then all you need to do is find like a texturizing spray, um, I know Garnier do a really good one, Garnier Fructis I think, um, a texturizing <coughs> sea salt spray, a texturizing spray or um, just anything that's going to bring some texture to your hair. So. The other thing that you don't want to do um, is brush your hair because that's going to make it look sleek and um, it's going to tame it too much. So don't brush your hair. You can back comb it a little bit if you want to, but I don't really like back combing my hair because I don't like it damages it. So, so all I'm going to do is um, first of all, you want to take your fringe or your bangs, whatever you want to call it, and just kind of like. This is all kind of like finger work, but you just take it like that and then kind of twist it a little bit and make like a poof, okay? Just like that. And then you're just gonna pin it. It doesn't have to be like neat or anything, but this is just gonna make sure that this part is like poofy and it's not completely straight. Now you wanna take the rest of your hair and just kind of messily, like, don't do this anyway sleek or, like, don't try and, like, smooth it down too much. Um, so you want to leave, like, when you take the ponytail, you want to kind of go like that, loosen it a little bit. Um, now you can do this ponytail up as far as you want. If you want to do it at the top of your head, that's called a top bun or a top, top knot. Um, you can do that if you want to, but that's not this video. I can do a video on that if you guys want. But I'm just going to take it to about there. And just use a rubber band. Just make it a regular ponytail. Now see how that's all like tight and stuff? We're gonna kind of like mess that up a little bit later on. I'm so congested right now. Oh my god, because I get hay fever. Okay, so now with the ponytail, you just want to basically just like you would do any bun, wrap it around, but you want to do this kind of loosely. Like you don't want to wrap it tight, so you just want to bring it around like that. You see that? I don't know if I even caught that on camera. And then all you want to do is take bobby pins and stick them into the side of the bun so that everything will stay in place. The key here is to go with the flow of the hair. So like if you wrapped your pony if you wrapped your ponytail or your bun this way, then you want to stick the pins in like like that. 
And if you did it the other way, then obviously do it the other way. But so I usually do a couple of these, like one in there. And now I know it looks, it still looks kind of sleek, but we're gonna fix that in a second. Because I don't personally like the sleek look on me. I think because I have such a, I have like masculine features and um, I look more like my dad anyway, I know that, but I do have like mas kind of masculine features and I just feel like the sleek look on me um, is too harsh. I just, I look like a man. So um, that's why I prefer like curls rather than straight hair and um, like more feminine styles because I just feel like it kind of balances out the my, my features if that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I did. All the bobby pins are put in. That's what it looks like at the back. And now what we're going to do is just pull little bits out. Now, don't be afraid to do this because in the beginning I was. Um, you just pull like anywhere in the sides. Be careful not to pull like chunks out, but you just are pulling it kind of gently. But don't be too afraid to pull because anything you pull out, you can put back with a bobby pin. So it's, it's quite simple. So you see already how that, it's more flattering to my face anyway. Um, maybe you have a different face if you have a rounder face or like a more feminine features then you could probably pull off the sleek look but I just think I can't. So I'm going to do a little bit more pulling here. And now when you pull you might, a bobby pin might slide out or something but just pop that back in. Okay, I think I'm trying to get the same amount of volume like everywhere so it's not like sleek on one side and then volumized or like poofy on the other side and there we go that's it so that's the back sorry about the creaky chair um, the side and the other side and now if you want to I recommend doing this just to hold everything in place you can spray with a bit of hairspray um, this is just L'Oreal Elanette's hairspray Supreme hold with pro keratin. There you go. And um, I don't really like a lot of hairspray, but it does keep everything in place. So just gonna blast a little bit of that, but not too much because I don't like it. I, I think hair is supposed to be like soft and you, you're supposed to be able to touch it afterwards. So that is it. I think I just sprayed hairspray into my coffee. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink it now. But um, this is definitely like a really, really easy look. It's something that I do when my hair is dirty and I just don't really know what else to do with it. And I don't really want to let it down um, because I usually wear my hair down for the other two days that I have it washed, if that makes sense. So like day one and day two will be down and then day three will be up. But it's just very nice. It's a soft look. It's not harsh. It's not severe. But you could still wear this like it's something you could wear in daytime um, for like every day. It's something you could wear on a night out easily. Um, and it's, or you could put like a flower in and make it more formal. It's also something you could wear to the office because it keeps your hair off your face and it's, it looks professional. So um, I look quite professional right now with my little blouse and everything, but yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. And don't forget to check out blog pictures, pictures on my blog, <laughs> okay. Bye.